A letter to Chris Brown. <laughs> they cut you from the finest cardboard they could find. They dipped your body in limelight. They stripped you of the ailments that plague the legs of most common folk so that you can dance your mother out of a city that has grown accustomed to crawling on its knees. See, they made you out of dust. They pulled Rihanna from your ribcage, put an apple inside of her hands, blamed her for your sins. It makes me wonder if your real name is Adam. We had you fitted for disco ball gloves. We called you the second coming of a man who walked on the moon. We stole the oxygen from his lungs, made you heir to a throne large enough to drown all things that suppress the swelling of your ego. We baptized you in camera flashes. We massaged your back with the cat calls of 15-year-old girls who had paper mache halos and magazine cover wings. We firefied your insecurities. We kept your perfections inside of mason jars until they decided that they were going to stop moving. We pumped Hollywood into your veins until you tested positive for both rich and famous. We always knew that you would end up like Mike, but who would have thought that you would be more Tyson than Jackson, dear Chris Brown? We never would have guessed that your fists would ever be the spray cans that vandalize the hallways of women's faces. I bet if I play one of your songs backwards, I could hear Rihanna being punched in the mouth. I bet you found a hit single underneath the scar on her left cheek. The inspiration for your new album in the bite marks that you left on her arm and a Grammy nomination underneath her black eye. I pray for the next woman who inspires you. I hope that your nights are haunted by the sound of teenagers ripping your posters from their walls. I hope that your mattress feels like it's made out of broken CDs. I hope that your pillow files a restraining order against your dreams. I hope this is your last public apology. And the next woman brave enough to love you will not know what it's like to have her face redesigned by the lack of control you have over your knuckles. Chris, I hope you found a lesson somewhere in all of this. I'm just sorry that Rihanna had to be your fortune cookie. Broken, so that you can learn something you already should have known. Chris, when you said that you were sorry, I really hope that you meant it. Sincerely, a man who grew up with domestic violence in his household. P.S. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>